Evolution moulds not only physical attributes, but also patterns of animal behaviour. Because fitness is measured by success in transmitting genes to offspring, reproductive traits have been subjected to intense sexual selection in one or both sexes, affecting structures and behaviours involved in courtship and mating. The elaborate tail feathers of male peacocks afford one obvious example, as do the heavy antlers of many male deer. Since these exaggerated physical or behavioural attributes are interpreted as indicators of a sexual partner's fitness, these can become runaway evolutionary trends. Plant pollination by specific insects also creates selection pressures for one or both species, leading, for instance, to deeper flowers and longer mouthparts, a trend which can be carried to astonishing extremes. The 25 centimetre long spur of the Madagascan comet orchid requires a hawk moth pollinator whose similarly long proboscis allows it to feed on nectar at the base of the spur. There is, however, a cost. This plant cannot be fertilised by any other insect and is entirely dependent on the hawk moth. The two have co-evolved, so if the moth became extinct, the orchid would be doomed. Innumerable other examples of mutual dependency between organisms are known. Often, though not always, there is clear benefit to both in such associations. In parasitism, the benefits seem entirely one-sided. Parasites gain nutrients and a sheltered environment, though host immune responses attempt to combat the invader, while hosts suffer mild to debilitating disease. Parasite levels affect host behavioural patterns, such as dominance hierarchies and reproductive success. Here, an arms race is in progress. As the host evolves new immune strategies to control the parasite, natural selection encourages the latter to evolve better ways of countering or invading them. The end result is often a parasite species uniquely adapted to a particular host and its specialised immune system. 